Um, but I'm curious about just uh, some of the Black pop culture influences that help shape your life um, and your thinking and desire to uh, explore and navigate this uh, realm of pop culture. Um, well, A Different World is a great show. <laughs> um, I love that show. And I think that I was too young when it, I, I caught that in reruns and same with most of the Cosby show. Like I was too young to have watched it live, but I do remember that that show sort of being, just seeing all these like very smart black people in one place and how they were dealing with all of these issues that still many of them to this day are still issues that we are facing now on college campuses and just in life. Um, being able to see that was really inspiring for me. I also, I think pretty sure the first Spike Lee movie I saw was Do the Right Thing. And it blew my mind. Like I was so taken aback by that movie. And to this day, it's still one of my favorites. And I think it's, again, so relevant to these times. Um, but I think also like in hindsight, I didn't necessarily realize it when it was happening at the time, but women like Janet and Mariah and um, TLC were like really doing things that women were not supposed to do and getting away with it and, and flaunting it in the best way possible. And I think they like just being able to see them, that visibility, was so impactful. And, and I think that now we're kind of in this moment where people are starting to actually give, especially black artists their due. And I think like so much of that is heaped upon Beyonce these days in part, like she's kind of one of the first, I think black pop stars to sort of get her due while she's still like in it. Um, I think so often we're very retrospective, like especially someone like Janet, um, so being able to see that and see people like Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. And I think part of that is because, especially in the last 10, 15 years, so many black writers have been able to write about these things in major publications, not just myself, obviously, but people like Soraya Nadia McDonald at uh, Anscape, um, Wesley Morris, like you have all of these critics who didn't necessarily have the platform 20, 30 years, years ago, um, and I think having that space allows for us to be able to now have actual dialogue in constructive ways for the most part about the current crop of whether it's Lil Nas X or Megan or all of them. Like, I think it really helped that we've seen a lot more black writers and journalists being able to talk to the, like interview and talk to these people um, in ways that, that didn't necessarily play out previously. 